It finally happened. Look at these. You see these here? These are Tesla cells. Time to talk about batteries. As you know, I've been talking about Tesla, well, since like 2011 or something, 2012, right? Since the very beginning, I've been messing around. And then we got our hands on Tesla batteries very, very early on, right? I'm running around with the bus that has 13 year old Tesla, right? First generation, uh, 2009 uh tesla cells right when they were 2600 milliamp hours then they later went to the 3400 milliamp hours on the model s and you know i've had a uh, model s battery modules and we put them in cars we've done all kinds of things with them but i always wonder when the day would be that we would be able to get our hands on raw cells right and it's never been the case i think now some people are taking apart the Model 3 modules, right? Which are the 21700s. And so those are a bit different and they work, whatever. There, there's some that are available. But here for the first time, we have 18650 cells that are Teslas. And I took a box that I received and now I'm testing them. Okay, so I took four out of that box and I tested up here on my sand fleur. And look at this, 3691, 3747, or 48, 3676, 30. How about, ooh, the MR is high, 218, 212, 268, 300. Okay, so the internal resistance is high. So these ones have really high capacity but also very high internal resistance all right so let's talk about these guys look they come in this box that is kind of generic it doesn't have you know it's it's for 18650s but there's some blacks out stuff here it doesn't say panasonic but maybe it wouldn't uh have panasonic on there because if they're making them for tesla then they're not uh, gonna brand their boxes, right? And maybe not all of them even have boxes. So how do we know that these are legit Tesla cells? Well, uh, well, the supplier is saying that these come from a very reputable place and that they uh, have a contract with Tesla or some kind of contract with Tesla. And so they're dismantling some of the stuff, right? Okay. They look like Tesla cells. I have been messing around with Tesla cells for a long time. But in all my testing, I've never seen a Model S 18650 uh, cell go above 3,400 milliamp hours. These are going above 3,400 milliamp hours. Um, so these are probably not Model S, right? They look like Tesla cells, but look, they have the, the three little dots thing there right and i understood that that was how you could tell the 20 uh 21700s as model 3 cells so why would these 18650s have a model 3 or the three little dot tesla mark on them right i don't know right the, these are never as far as i understand the 18650s that have never made it into uh model 3s right and maybe newer Tesla S modules have that same marking, right? And so maybe that's where these are coming from. Now, also the other thing is that, well, half of the, the pack that I got here, they're naked like this, right? Which is how I know Tesla cells. They never wrapped them because, well, why? You know, that's just wasted stuff. The way they built their modules, they never had to. But these are, half of this pack is, uh, wrapped and and there are signs that they were wrapped and taken off like they see these have like glue on them and stuff and in the pictures it seems like maybe most of them are wrapped or 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 maybe a percentage of them are wrapped i don't know why would they be wrapped as i understand tesla's never wrap cells but maybe i'm wrong maybe i haven't seen what goes on some of the other battery products could these be from um, 
you know, power packs maybe, early version power packs that I use 18650s instead of the 21700s, which we believe that is what what is going on on the second power packs, right? A second generation power packs. So maybe these are first generation power packs, right? But I can't really verify any of that stuff. All I could do at this point is just guess. But they look like Tesla cells. They are being sold as Panasonic cells. There we go. They are testing well. These are sold for about $3, I think, or $2.70. I don't remember the exact price, but I'll post the link in the description below. They are kind of expensive, but if they are uh, indeed Tesla sales, well, these are basically the first ones, 18650s, that you can get that you don't have to buy a module and do a ton of work to get it out, right? So if you seen the videos or you played with those uh, Tesla Model S modules, they're not easy to take apart and you end up, you know, ruining a bunch of the cells. You end up, you know, sh you know, shorting a bunch of them. And it's just a lot of extra work, right? So I think this is the first time and that's why it's very attractive to me because like, oh, if you want to build something with Tesla cells, now you can do it uh, and you don't have to do all the work. You just basically yeah, start with the raw cells that then you can now start building your pack. And by the way, uh, you could use our PCB module here that we sell on our website, right? So positive to positive, you will have to use the ones that are wrapped to do that. But look, this is how easy it is to build a 24 volt battery, for example, right? Boom. There we go, six and then seven. Bam. And then next thing you know, you can just wrap that with the shrink tube or this stuff. And then you can build a little pack like that. Or you can build a, an entire power wall sort of like this. Or a box like that, right? All of these ones have the same modules that we have. Uh, we just made one of these toolboxes right here too. So there's a bunch of projects that you can do based on this um, PCB battery module, right? That requires loose cells 18650s and you can use some of the best ones which are tesla packs all right thank you for watching this video we'll see you on the next one remember the links are on the description uh if you're interested in getting this then i appreciate all your support on the channel uh and clicking the links and going to the suppliers and all the stuff so again thank you for watching we'll see you guys in the next one bye You have those little pucks? So then after you take off all the screws... We got the fun part. You got the fun the part. Chisel. And you gotta pry it out. Oh! Ooh, there. Big bar over here, air bubble. moment of truth.